The FBI, the FBI is changing the definition of rape. It sounds innocuous enough, but perhaps not so. John Hembling is from the organization A Voice for Men, and he joins me now from Vancouver. Welcome to you. Thank you very much. Now, I thought it was like a slogan, no means no, rape means rape, rape is rape. What are the FBI doing here? Well, uh, they may be expanding the definition of rape, and this comes after canvassing from the Maryland Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Um, we don't know exactly what the definition is going to be. We've been asking the FBI for some sort of feedback, and we've got nothing so far. And what they come with after the meeting they're having in Baltimore may or may not be implemented. It will go as a recommendation to the FBI's director. And if ever they expand a definition, that means more people will, of course, be included under it. And I, I assume your concern is that uh, men who may ha have not committed a crime at all or been involved in something which certainly wasn't rape will be charged with one of the most hideous crimes you can imagine. That is a concern. Now, I'm not against including in the definition of rape things that are, in fact, you know, violent sexual assault and rape. But... Uh, we are suspicious or at least concerned that the definition is being expanded to inflate the statistical numbers to get funding rather than actually combat a crime. Oh, I see. So, and this, is, this has been played out so many times in the past 20 years. If you claim the rates of domestic violence or rape or, or whatever are higher, you get more political support and more money. So that's what it, it, it's about. But I, mean, I think yeah. a lot of people watching would, sorry, would, would say to yeah, but um, let's say a man has committed an assault and not rape. Well, so what? Sorry, buddy, you shouldn't have done anything wrong. Correct. Um, and uh, quite honestly, I think that the laws governing assault um, are adequate to govern assault, and the laws as we have them governing rape are, are similarly adequate. Now, the definition of rape, according to the FBI, does not include male victims of rape, doesn't include some things which maybe should be considered. But uh, my concern is that this definition is being expanded for, for uh, gathering funding, inflating statistics rather than actually combating uh, a real problem. What do you mean male victims of rape? Who do you mean? Well, according to some definitions of rape, male victims of rape uh, are not actually victims of rape. They can be classified as sexual assault or as aggravated assault but not rape. But, but, but what do you mean? Do you, do you mean homosexual rape? Uh, homosexual rape, but also there is... Uh, rape against a man by a woman. It is um, not as common as regular conventional rape, but it does happen. Um, forgive this sounding a bit to banal, but oh, come on. How, how, how many men are raped by women? How can that be? Well, that's, that's the uh, normal attitude to that. Yeah. Um, it, it does happen. I'm going to freely admit that it doesn't happen anywhere near as often, but it is a real issue. It does happen, and that is one of the things that I believe is being expanded in this definition. We see, look, th th this is why I think we, we, we face problems. I, I, I completely agree. We have guests on from the, from the men's rights movement, men and women, in terms of custody disputes and so on and family breakdown. Men are getting a raw deal. But what you've just said is, look, for a man to be raped, uh, he would have to be, well, forgive me, he'd have to be erect, he'd have to be aroused... Uh, there is a, there's a power dynamic. Well, tell me, how, how many men are... Women are raped on a regular basis. It's used as a tool of war. It, it's used to oppress. It, 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 it's a vile thing. I don't read many cases of men who've been raped by a woman. No, neither do I, and I'm going to freely admit it doesn't happen very much. Uh, but there was recently, I think in 2010, a story of a man who broke into a hair salon, was captured by the hair salon's owner, uh, was restrained and fed drugs to cause him to become erect and was raped over a period of days. That's a fairly extreme case, but it does illustrate that it is possible. <laughs> Sorry, I... Just... Yeah, it's a fairly extreme case. I mean, I, of course... There have been more when people have broken into hair salons and have been raped. I, I'm sorry, I, I just, uh, this, I, I can't well, see it. I, I, ju I just, I, I think you're grasping at straws. Yes, be careful in terms of redefining rape to, to raise money. Women as perennial victims, I, I reject all of that. But, but this, is, this is extremism. Well, I don't see, I don't necessarily think it's extremism. The, you're, a, you're not going to argue that it has happened and... So we come down to the definition of what or what is not rape. Yeah. Well, what, what is rape then? How, you tell me what, what rape... What, it, define rape of a man by a woman. Rape of a man by a woman yeah. is where he is placed in a position where he is unwilling to have sex but is required by force or coercion or restraint or alcohol or drugs to participate in sex. 
erection is uh, an autonomic response. It's not a voluntary physical response. And yeah. so it can be forced. Now, you but, understand that 99% that, 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 uh, of probably all men watching are, are smirking. Uh, they're making sure jokes. They are. Yeah, because they're saying that this is not real. And, and they would acknowledge, again, I'll say it again, men are not treated. Men are victims of violence. There are women who will casually hit, smack around the face, throw things, and men are too embarrassed to go to the police and the courts won't listen to them. This I will agree with you on. But once you, you, you bring in this idea of something that sounds to me almost semi-pornographic, of, you know, I, little did I think when I broke into the hair salon, I will be bound. And I... Well, I know it sounds uh, like a cartoonish situation, but it was reported in the news, so we know it actually happens. Um, I'm not sure why that has to be treated as something ridiculous and unreal when it's actually been reported. All right. Would you acknowledge that when it comes to, to, to sex, women are so much more often victims than are men? Um, in... No, I, I'm not going to agree or disagree because I don't know. I believe that there's a major failure of reporting. Um, in terms of women raping men, no, I'm not going to say that happens with any kind of uh, frequency. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freely admit that's very, very rare. However, men are raped in other situations as well. They're right. raped in a, in a homosexual situation. Men can yeah. be raped using an, using an object by a person of any sex. Uh, men being raped in war is a major problem that is well known in the UN and mostly not reported on. So if we focus in on a woman raping a man, I'm going to argue that that happens but is very, uh, not very no, can, common. Can, can I, let me ask you this question. I don't mean to be personal, but do, do you have any children? No, I have no children. Well, you know, we have four children. We have two sons and two daughters. Let me tell you, sir, um, and I really hate to be on the side of, of, of feminism, but... Our oldest daughter, who's 21, and thank God looks like her mum, she's beautiful, uh, she often has to take a cab home because if she's on the TTC late at night, there are constant attempts by men to touch her, to sit next to her and, and, and not leave her alone. Uh, she was in Rome and, and she had to run from a man who, if it wasn't attempted rape, he was trying to grab her. This doesn't happen to boys. It doesn't happen to boys. No, I, I would argue that you're right there. It doesn't happen as you're describing it to boys. Yeah. All right. But so there I, are a, okay. Go ahead. No, no, I'm, we're out of time. But listen, I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.